there is always a risk of changes in interest rates in any economy now the concept of duration is a principal determinant of interest rate changes riskiness now let's see the impact of changes in interest rates on the bonds prices we have a world where the market interest rate is 10% and there we have a zero coupon bond with the face value of $100 now uh, for this type of bond the present value of have bond having one year maturity is equal to $100 and the present value of such bond with five year maturity is also equal to $100 now let's see what will be the changes on the bond prices if there is any change in the coupon rate of interest uh, we have a table that is showing the interest rate movements and this next column is the one year period of the discount bond and second is the five year period of the pure discount bond so we are valuing uh, two bonds of two different maturities using three different interest rates rates are 8% 10% and 12% if we look at the table we can conclude that the long term pure discount bonds are more volatile than the short term pure discount bonds and that is evident while we see at the price movements of the five years maturity bond next we have another case uh, where the case is of two bonds with same maturity but we have different components on the left side we have uh, three panels the upper panel is about a uh, uh, 10 percent coupon bond having five year maturity and the middle uh, panel is on a uh, one percent coupon bond having five year maturity and the last panel is uh, the comparison of 10% coupon bond and 1% coupon bond with the uh, interest rate changes from uh, 10 to 8% and 10 to 12%. If we sum up the changes in these panels, we can see uh, that for interest rate 8%, 10%, and 12%, the 10% bond is more volatile then uh, the one percent coupon bond as we can see that the price movement in these two types of bond is much higher for 10 percent bond then we see that for each of the 10 percent and one percent coupon bonds worth is more for eight percent than ten percent and that we can see in our lower column so we see that the percentage change price changes on one percent bonds are greater than the percentage changes on the ten percent bond. We know that price volatility of a pure discount bond is generally determined by its maturity, and by duration we mean an average of maturity of the bond's cash flows weighted by the present value of each periodic individual cash flow of the bonds now how to compute this average maturity of the bond it happens in three steps at first step we need to calculate present value of each coupon of the bond and that is the a periodic interest payment and the last cash flow on the face value of the bond then we need to develop a relationship between the individual periodic coupon cash flow over the total present value of the bond and as a third step we need to compute each cash flows weighted maturity now to understand this three step model we have an example where we have a coupon bond 10 percent coupon bond with the face value of 100 dollars uh, having maturity period of five years now we can determine the bonds maturity using this particular data we are doing this in three steps at first step in the first upper panel of the screen we see that 
वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड प्रेजेंट वैल्यू ऑफ इंडिविजुअल कूपन ऑन द बॉन्ड देन वी हैव एक्सप्रेस द प्रेजेंट वैल्यू ऑफ इंडिविजुअल कूपन विद द टोटल प्रेजेंट वैल्यू ऑफ द बॉन्ड एंड इन द फाइनल स्टेज वी आर मल्टीप्लाइंग इंडिविजुअल ईयर्स नंबर विद इट्स कॉरस्पॉन्डिंग प्रेजेंट वैल्यू इन दिस वे we have determined the total maturity of the bond as the duration of this particular bond and this duration is 4.169 years or 4.17 years so using this model we can also determine the uh, duration of a one year one percent to coupon bond and for 1% coupon bond the duration is 4.8740 years so we have two duration pe uh, periods for two different coupon bond having same maturity we see that the percentage price changes of a higher duration bond are greater than percentage price changes of a low duration bond we we can translate this into another way that 1% bond have greater duration than 10% bond even both have a similar amount of maturity period and that is 5 years in our case the 1% uh, the reason of this variation is that the 1% bond receives only $1 in each of the first 4 years as the individual years coupon amount of interest so it has lower weighted in the weighted basket for the 10% bond the holder of the bond receives $10 cash flow in each of the four years as the individual periods interest payment so the amount is big therefore its weighted value is big and as a result due to higher weighted value the duration of this bond will be lesser than the duration of the lower coupon bond